Because then Danbury's got 15 regulation losses. And you just have more overtime success and shootout success. Now, I'm not complaining because we're four points behind him. We would not be right if they were four points behind us because of that reason. Nice waffle save there by Antal. I just don't like it. It's just not hockey. And the shootout's even worse. Took a dumb idea and made it work. Which always happens. Once you accept a dumb idea or anything you do to correct a dumb idea, still a good opportunity for everybody here and everybody at home to throw in $5 a man on the first goal. Been taught around, dumped in by the Titans. That eludes Yoakum. Chasing it down there is Moran. Moran, a great defenseman. Had a fantastic season, as had pretty much the entire defensive core for Coach Cunningham. Defense first here for the, the Sea Captains all season long as we see a little bit of desperation here on the Titans. We haven't seen the Titans in a long while. Stony Brook out on Long Island, Eastern Long Island. Okay. Squidward's a big hit there behind the net. Sending it hard around there quickly was Matt Mazur. Michael Squidward was playing football and hockey for Stony Brook back in the day. Was not a good football. Smith behind the play. Down the right wing they go now. That's Kinahan. Kinahan. On the backhand pass had a man cutting to the cooker there. As Bagesh with the close range shot goes. Stepping up. Nice hit there by Borm, sending the forward progress. Here's Moran now on it. Moran smartly just sends it behind the net. Bagesh on it there on the backhand. Sees he's got help at the blue line. Fresh legs as well. Oh no, not fresh legs. That's Borms. I apologize. He just came back into the picture. Thought he went to, came off the bench. Picture being my peripheral vision. Well, picture being everybody's peripheral vision, really, if you think about it. Moran lost his footing right back up. He tried to go right up the gut there. A little too hot to handle, a little too cold to hold. But Bagesh comes away with it. Kinahan, advantageous hop there right in front of Moran, pinching in. That one goes straight in the air, knocked down. And corralled there by Vaccaro. Vaccaro got it out to center. Waiting on it there was Hayden. Hayden calmly, coolly, and collectively. Slides it over for Moran. Moran, big collision there is Vaccaro. Moran into Moran in the neutral zone. Everybody seems okay. Campo sending it up in on the net minor. Now Zessing leaning in to take the draw. Begish. Hayden going down to one knee. Couldn't keep it in though. As it's taken away by Vidal. A big hit there on neutral ice as Essing is run into there by Campo. Good clean hit there by Jordan Campo. Essing right back to his feet. Right now, every time there's a big hit, I'm cringing a little bit. I want the boys to be 100% come next week. I'm fired up for the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. I know the camera's not on me, but I haven't shaved since I found out we clinched. I got an excuse to grow a playoff beard. I'm growing a playoff beard. If your moms and dads or grandpas, well, not moms, if your dads or grandpas or uncles tuning in, feel free to stop shaving with me. It's playoff time, baby, and I'm fired up. Cannot wait for next weekend. 1.15 to go here. In the man advantage. Playoffs are playoffs at any level. They're just, you know, I can't wait. It's going to be a great series through Tanbury and Norwich. Two teams have gone at it all season long. Many of the affairs have gone to overtime. Hence the uh, extra stanza points that I was bemoaning before. Kinahan tracks it down. Impact on the community, which has been big and awesome. And talking about, of course, the upcoming playoff series against Danbury and very excited to announce that any young lady or lad in the neighborhood that wears any hockey sweater gets to the game for free. So wear your sweater to the game, boys and girls. Friday, the kids are off from school. So I believe the game is scheduled for 2 o'clock, although somebody told me it got moved to 2.45, so I don't want to make a wrong announcement, but it's in the afternoon. So I like to see a lot of the Seahawks down here. My daughter plays for the Seahawks. Get her and her teammates and friends down here running around causing havoc, making a lot of noise for the sea captains. So the boys would like nothing less. And they deserve nothing less. They're in the playoffs. Like to see the building full and loud. Here's Holton now. Holton puts the brakes on. Holton sending it down low, especially if it goes to that game three on set day. Possessing right back out there. No rest for the weary. Man, these guys are in good shape. He just got off the ice and he was out there for a while. And right back out there for the power play. Oh yeah, people don't realize how good every single player on both of these teams are. And the physical condition that these young lads are in is, well, let's just say I've never been anywhere near it. <laughs> Even when I was playing two college sports, nowhere near it, no way. Bouncing puck now, Titans trying to come away with it. Man, I was a slug. I think I never had any stamina. 
Over for Moran. Moran winding, shooting. Glove saved the position. That's a faceoff is won cleanly by Hins. Behind the net it goes now. Setting up shop there. Back to the blue line for Moran. Under two minutes to go in the period. Moran quickly down low for Begish. Back to Moran. Moran. Right steps to the left. Nobody in front, though, for the sea captains. Making it too easy there on the netminder. He's got to get somebody in front of his eyes. Essing now with the puck. Essing over the blue line. Essing crosses would be called. Especially in youth hockey. Any big hit at the bantam level. The ref's arm goes right up. And parents all get their feathers all in a bunch. I don't know what you guys expected here. Maybe you thought you were driving your kid to the bowling alley here today. Not that there's anything wrong with bowling. I'm a big Earl Anthony fan. Let's not forget Mark Weber. Back to the blue line. He goes PBA tour now. Oh, I would love to call a PBA tour. It's like Happy Gilmore now. So much fun. All right, power play for the Titans. Along the boards now. Trying to get to it there was Gallagher. Gallagher tied up there by Moran. Moran, a fantastic defenseman. Back to the blue line he goes. The Blues skip it in, let his shot go. A backhanded stab there. Hockey for 12 seconds. A clean face-off win back to Hayden. Nice job there by Essing. Face-off so important. I'm sure the sea captains would like to have control of the puck as they're going to have a power play for a minute and 49 seconds beginning now. All right, so the third power play of the afternoon starting to take shape now for the Norwich Sea Captains. They're 0 for 2. Titans 0 for 1 on theirs. Although it was a bridge, you still get charged the whole thing. You don't get half a power play in the mathematical standings. I think that, I always thought they should adjust that, but not to be. Vegas now sliding it over. Good give and go there. Hayden couldn't pull the trigger. Ends up on the stick of Essing. He pulls the trigger. And that just went wide of the netminder. Antal. And sliding it down low. Kinahan, Kinahan snipering it. Nice stop by Antal. Kinahan's got that laser beam of a wrist shot. Doesn't need a lot of room. Beautiful pass across. Essing just a little out of the reach as Kinahan is reaching back for it. Over for Moran. Moran had the howitzer cock, couldn't pull it. Now Hayden lets the one-timer go. Big stop there. The rebound is swiped in all the way down. Nice save there by Daniel Antal. And Hayden really got into that one. Good puck movement on the power play here, which has 40 seconds left to go. Big hit there. Along the boards as Carney lays the lumber into him. Sends Essings flying. Got a man cutting to the cooker now, pulling the trigger, trickles. Let the shot go. I'm telling you, sometimes those change-ups are harder to stop. For the goaltender, just like a change-up's harder to hit in baseball. You would think, well, what's so hard about hitting an 82-mile-an-hour pitch? Well, when the last one was 104. Can't wait for baseball, baby. I see a lot of people. I, I watched a couple of innings the other day. He has a chance now in front. Titans pulling the trigger right off the clavicle. It bounces out in front dangerously. And coming away with it. All the sea captains away to center goes Olsong. Oh, you're always susceptible to letting up a goal right after you score, ladies and gentlemen. The endorphins are flowing. Big hit there as Moran came in the match. Fliss and Fliss just shrugged them off. But Fliss is a strong young man. Fliss is tough. Man. Moran came flying in and bounced off him like he ran into a tree. They want to avoid 18. That's uh, good career advice with the playoffs around the corner. So one to nothing. You see captains leading it. Yeah, when you score a goal, you're always susceptible to letting up one right. See, captains, you could argue a little bit deeper five on five. But really, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, it's 50 50 right down the middle. I'm looking forward to it. Makarinko letting the shot go, waffled aside. By the net minder on tall. That one he waffled into the corner. That's a, At this level, ladies and gentlemen, it is nowhere near enough just to stop the puck. You've got to have control. Letting the shot go, deflected, that just missed. That went off the leg of Schaefer and went right by the post. Did not miss by much. That one beat the goaltender on the deflection. That one is deflected out there. Very difficult for the goalie to make the save sometimes. Both goalies have played well here today. On to nothing is your score. As it's sent hard around, on in there is Carney. Carney's a big fella, about 6'4", 6'6", with the afro, I'd say. He's probably he's taller than 6'4", that dude. That's what's on their, on their sheet, how tall he is. A big fella. Number 10 in your scorecard. Once Kane gets acclimated, I think it could be dangerous, but 
Bottom line for the New York Rangers, ladies and gentlemen, they do not have a wartime consigliere between the pipes. So they're not going anywhere in the stacked Eastern Conference, no matter who they get on offense. That's just my two cents about it. And not an Igor fan. Makarinko in on the forecheck, as is Peluso. There's Makarinko now. Makarinko lost a handle on it. Knocked ahead by Dolores. Makarinko pushing it ahead. And on it quickly there is Bianco. Bianco sends it in. Tracking it down there is Mazur. Mazur sending it up. Bounces off the skate there quickly. Peluso. Peluso lets the shot go. Wide on the glove side. Kept in by Makarinko. Behind the net it goes now. Anastasio sending it hard around for Vaccaro. Vaccaro sends Peluso flying. And a power play coming. Oh, the sea captains. Uh, I think that's a little bit of a rinky-dink call here in a tied affair in the third period, in my opinion, but I'm sure the sea captains will gladly. A big power play here, the fourth of the afternoon for the sea captains. They are 0 for 3 thus far. Titans 1 for 2. Up ahead now, Vidal. Vidal shorthanded. Vidal. Nice angle taken there by Moran. Moran leans on Vidal, coming over to Hayden. Vidal doing a nice job. Killing off time. Here comes Essing now. Essing makes his move at the neutral zone. Onside. Left it for Kinahan. Kinahan lost his footing. Yeah, nice job, though, to corral it down low from his bum. Behind the net. Hayden in on the forecheck. Hayden slides up the forward here on the power play for Coach Cunningham. Hops over Bagesha stick and all the way down. 120 left to go here in the second stanza. Second stanza. The power play had a two next to Vaccaro for Vaccaro in the sin bin. 120 left to go in the power play is what I meant to say. I'll tell you, the brain really is checked out here today. I think if I was doing anything last night that would cause the brain to check out, no. I had nothing but uh, pernil tacos and salsa. Down the left wing now. Here's Makarinko. Makarinko pulling the trigger. That just missed. As he went to go for the long side in the playoffs. That's all I could say. It's five on five until somebody scores. Come next week. I figure there's at least a 50-50 chance somebody scoring in the first 10 minutes. Wasn't bad, though. Pretty cool. I mean, it was five on five, sudden death overtime. So, you know, send a Zamboni out whenever you want. On it now, quickly there is Gallagher. Gallagher sending it hard around. Kept in at the blue line, letting the shot go. The save, the rebound, held on to there. Michigan. I think MI is Michigan. Quick shot, that just missed. Pretty sure. I'm always bad with state initials. Moran lets the shot go. Yeah, Michigan is MI. Battleaxe, Sparta, Flint. <laughs> I don't know. Flint's a great name. Ann Arbor's pretty cool. I don't know too many Michigan towns. Detroit. Behind the net it goes now. 11 10 left to go. Actually, I've been to Detroit twice. I thought Detroit. Both times I went, I love Detroit. I thought it was a beautiful town. I mean, I'm just, I hear those bad things about it. I didn't see any bad parts of town. Went there for a roller hockey tournament, ice hockey tournament. There's Kinahan. Kinahan. Dancing to the outside, letting the shot go. That one went off the goaltender and straight up in the air and landed. See how the tiebreakers work with the Sharks. Some research on that for tomorrow night. We're going to be right back here tomorrow night between these two. Back-to-back -to -back belly to belly games. So any bad blood that may happen here tonight will be spilled over into tomorrow's game. Or we can at least hope so. So far, though, hasn't been one of those games thus far. A couple of hard hits, but nothing... Not a lot of pushing and shoving behind the whistle. Not a lot of that, this or that. Not a lot of shenanigans. Just a good game. Not overly physical. One to one is your score. Just over eight and a half left to go. Is offsides is the call. Having the one timer go. That one's lofted out to center ice. And under six minutes to go now is Fredericks quickly. Trying to get the Titans in a bit of a player change. Leaves it Hayden. Hayden thought about a shot. Now he lets it go. More traffic in front. The rebound. Peluso swiping at it. And the fan, St. John's fan, played for Stony Brook. One of my diehard, old school, old Patriot fan. I know you're like, yeah, right. People shake their head at me when I tell them that. You know, I was a Patriot fan long before they lost in the Super Bowl to the Baron Rodgers on your team. You guys are out of your minds. He's the only guy I don't want to see come to the Jets. Please sign Derek Carr. Please. With Aaron Rod if Aaron Rodgers is a possibility and you don't get him, I mean, if he wants to stay in Green Bay or Green Bay doesn't, I'd like to see Aaron Rodgers come to Foxborough, I'll tell you that. You guys don't want him, I'll take him. Fighting off now, back from Moran. Moran, 
This Aaron Rodgers has talked about in New England. Don't know, but we'll take my swoop in again. I mean, never know. A quick shot there. As that buzzes the tower by Massengill. So Moran on the puck now with three minutes left to go here, a one-to-one -one game. The captain's trying to get it in. Every point so precious here to the Titans. The sea captains, they know their destiny. They're playing the hat tricks next week. Game one Thursday in Danbury, the hat city. Danbury's a cool, fun town. Not too far from New York. Along the boards now, couldn't get it out as Fliss came over to cause the turnover. Dutcher. Trying to get it out, out for Bear. Bear run into there by Fliss. Bouncing puck comes away now. All three players are going to have to go off here for the Sea Captains. Sea Captains did a nice job, though, protecting the puck. A minute left to go now. In overtime, here's Kinahan fresh. Jack Kinahan. Left it for Essing. Essing at the dot. Essing into the shooting lane. Let's the shot go. Deflected in front. Rebound Kinahan behind the goalkeeper. He scores. 